Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. Let me discuss some common mistakes in the construction of RCC top beam. Let's get start. You can see clearly three steel rods in compression zone, three steel rods in tension zone. Means three at the top, three at the bottom. So this is one common mistake. You can see guys clearly and two steel rods at the side. What is the correct way? Used minimum four steel rods and tension zone. Because concrete is weak and tension, but concrete is strong and compression. If you see at stirrups, so the spacing is not proper. With L by 4 distance, the spacing should be 100 to 150 millimeter. But at the mid, it should be from 100 to 200 millimeters. Also, guys, you can see now I am showing you at the end of the support, which is column. But here you cannot see any crank bar or bent up bar. The first stirrup should be placed with minimum 2 inches and the other should be with L by 4 distance from 100 to 150 millimeter. But here the spacing of stirrups are same for all beam. What is the correct way for RCC top beam? Used 4 steel rods at the bottom, then the middle Two steel rods should be bent near its support or crank near its support with L by 4 distance. If you see, you can't see any development length in this beam. But they used same method for top and bottom steel reinforcement. You can see clearly. You can't see any development length. So the development length is very important for beam to make a good bond between beam and column. The development length should not be less than 12 inches. Hope this video can help you. Thank you.